Companies like Character.ai, however, will absolutely exploit what is likely a $100 billion plus market, if not more, to build these AI companions and R-rated assistants. And it, this is a totally where this is going. Now, Mike, not to put you on the spot here, but <laughs> you had this conversation with Alex Kantrowitz, who yes. is our opening keynote on the final day at Macon, a big tech podcast, huge fans of Alex. But Mike and Alex had this conversation because Alex has actually personally tested these. So, Mike, I don't know if you have any context from your conversation with Alex about this. Yeah. So Alex was raising really good points around the fact that this almost seems in some ways inevitable. We were joking about how deep down the rabbit hole he went with testing these out, but he's testing them for a very real reason, which is that millions and millions of people are using them. The user bases for these tools are increasing and they're a key part to understanding in his mind, I think, where some of the big labs and the big technology companies are going when it comes to, even if it's not romantic or adult, with, like you mentioned, AI getting to know you and being essentially your best friend, your best assistant, your best coworker. If you want it to be. If you want it to be. Yeah. You just have to be ready. Like, you may not choose to use these tools in this way, and that, that's fine. That's your choice. But the labs are going to give you that choice. And that means your friends, your family, your parents, your grandparents. Like, we are nowhere near ready as a society for people becoming attached to these things. 